Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to configure our wireless router, and we will learn this configuration using a Cisco packet tracer. So let's start. Well, this is my Cisco packet tracer workspace. So uh, in order to do this activity, we need one wireless router, and then we will use two end devices. Let's say one PC and one laptop, and then we do the con connection. So I'll go here and I will select the wireless devices and in this out of these available devices i will use this wrt 300n router and for end devices i will select one pc and also one laptop now this pc is not having the wireless interface uh, card or uh, the wireless port that's why at this point of time it is not able to connect and also uh, we need to uh, do some setting uh, for this router as well so we'll go to the router and then we go to GUI and here you can see some of the things have been already been shown to us for example the router IP is 192.168.0.1 we can change this IP or we can keep it as it is okay we'll keep it as it is and then and this router is also having assigned 50 IPs so it's having a pool of IPs that starts from 0 0.100 to 0 uh, 0.149 so these 50 IPs are, is actually uh, here shown here. We can change also, but uh, keep it default. Now, if we if we want to assign the static IP to our this PC and the laptop, uh, then we can just disable it and we can use the static IP. This is also one possibility, or you can just keep it enabled here. Okay, so I am just keeping it enabled, and then I will be. Uh, done with this so i'm done with this and every time when we do some change we have to click on save setting okay so this is done and then we go back to the next field wireless okay here we have to keep all the things as it is same and then we will just write the name here home this is not mandatory but just for giving the identity we have given the name home and then we will again just click on save setting so we are done with this and then we can go to let's say config and here you can see that we are having this one in 192.168.0.1 so this can be used as a gateway for us and then wireless so we want that in the wireless environment that all the devices which are in the in the range must have uh, some credentials to have a connection it's always a good practice so here the different protocol have been shown which are actually used uh, so wpa2 is a very secure uh, standard uh, protocol being used uh, frequently and wep is a very simple protocol which was earlier used so let us use with this uh, simple protocol just to have a for have this demonstration so we need to provide one key here so the key is let's say one two three four five and okay it says we need to provide ten digit one one two two three three four four five five okay this is done and after that i think we are done with all the settings for the router we'll just close this and uh, it will take some time to up it's, it's showing it is down so we'll take another one or two minutes okay then we'll go to pc and we go to desktop and we'll first uh, add that uh, interface the wireless port or the wireless module we have to add here so it says that wpc3 and wireless interface is required to connect okay so we'll go to the physical part and here this is a kind of uh, physical device this is our uh, pc and it is shown you showing you all the ports which are there in the pc now if you are going to add something or remove something uh, means a physical component for the device we always need to uh, switch or means turn off our machine so we have to turn off the computer first and then we go to the to the port or the interface you can say where we have to add this module so you can see here this is the kind of port where we have to add this is a slot shown to us and this this wmp300n we have to add here 
which has already been occupied so we have to first remove this make it empty and then now we will add this module into this slot and then we'll go back and turn on our computer okay this is done then we'll go to the desktop we'll go to the configuration and then uh, you see that uh, here it is just assigned now if you want to do a static ip so you can go to static and you can give 192 168 whatever the ip that you want to give and subnet mask and default gateway you can keep it 192 168.0 uh, dot one which is the ip given to the router so this also we can do in this case we would have set here uh, that uh, disable so we have set the DS dscp server option enable so that means we can automatically assign the ip if this this comes in the range of this wireless router so still the connection has been not established so we have to go to uh, physical okay so let us uh, again go with uh, this desktop and we go to this uh, uh, physical part okay just go here and then we'll see that it is not being connected so we'll go to connect and we'll wait for the router to be visible here so it's visible here this route this is the home is the router name and then we click on connect and it asks for the key so we have to pass the credential one one two two three three four four five five and click on connect and you can see that it is successfully connected so we are done with this and uh, the same thing we are going to do here as well so here you can see that already we have added a, a wireless module so that makes this wireless to be identified and make a connection now you can see that how we can do the same thing here so we'll go here and uh, again we do the same thing you go to the physical right this is physical you can click on zoom in and then first we have to switch it off and we will go and uh, search for that slot i think this is a slot we'll remove this part and add this done and then switch it on this is done go to desktop and then also we have to uh, enable it right so we'll see here uh, connect it is not established connection so we'll wait here then click on connect pass the key 11223344455 connect go to the link information it's it's still not connected mm -hmm. just turn it 11223345 and then it is now connected so i think it is showing here yeah it is connected so we are done with this and then we will just have a look on to the uh, configuration so you see here it is showing here if you look at this it is given here 100 this is coming from this already we have seen that it is a pool of addresses that is from 100 to 149 50 addresses are there so this is has been assigned and this is acting as a gateway so if you look at this here you can see it is given here 192.168.0.101 and uh, 0.1 is your gateway you can see all the information shown here now we will see that the connection is established or not so we'll just uh, write a ping command and try to connect from here from this machine to this machine okay so we'll go here and go to command prompt and we'll write ping 192 dot 168 dot zero and the laptop ip is 101 so we are able to connect the same thing we'll try from here we'll go here and we will write the command ping 192.168.0.100 dot zero dot hundred and we are able to connect successfully so this is all for this video so we have seen that how to uh, configure the router and uh, establish a connection in a wireless mode that's all for this video thank you very much